Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. Well, I have these garden moms that I purchased and I'm going to put them in the ground now. So I have uh, four with the kind of burgundy color, very pretty. And then I have two with the yellow, I like that, and three with this color the creams. I also have some on the deck that I may transplant down here as well but I'm going to be putting them over here in this area because as you know the coleus will probably be dying out with the first cold snap and also the impatience. So to keep this bed alive, I'm going to add the chrysanthemums. And I just love garden mums. I also am going to add them over here. And just as a side note, um, these dahlias have been doing so well. Look at this dahlia definitely something to add to the garden very very beautiful and here is the another one isn't that nice um, what I've learned though about dahlias is that they require Sun they need Sun um, and they get some little bit Sun here and also over in this area where the dahlias are under the tree but to have them really perform to make sure that they get what they need I need to give them more Sun and I also planted zinnias here and now the zinnias are starting to open and the zinnias are from seed so I'm going to just clean up this area and um, add the uh, chrysanthemums I'm not sure if I'm going to add any here to this bed. Maybe right around here I might add one or two, some of the small ones that I have up on the deck so that this can have color. But right now this is looking really cute. I like that. And uh, hopefully the marigolds will kick in. I see some blooms there. That would be good. I might even put one in this container we'll see how it goes how full it look it, it appears to be and then if not then I might buy some more the thing about um, chrysanthemums is that they are a, um, a perennial but they're not a hardy perennial and so they need to be mulched very well and if they are and they have a chance to really get a good root system then they may return especially if they like the location so there is the possibility of them returning back but I treat my chrysanthemums like annuals and I really got a good deal on these chrysanthemums so you know I don't really mind um, having them just for the season I, I think the joy that they provide is so much worth it that I don't mind um, just enjoying them for that uh, time span that I have them um, on the side garden uh, there are two of um, chrysanthemum plants are returning back and so I don't think I'm going to put any on that side but who knows if the season is still young <laughs> I might just get motivated to do that 
So let me get started because it's going to rain tomorrow or through the night and um, I want to get these chrysanthemums in the bed. But um, let me just give you a quick look. So this is the idea and I'm going to dig them in here and then mulch them in. So this is the idea and then I think I'm going to put the small ones over here. Now I placed here this. Now doesn't that look nice? I put it in here. So I think that's a nice look for the fall. All right, let me get started. All right, so I finished this first side here and I think it came out pretty good. So what I need to do now is just mulch it in with the mulch and uh, that's gonna really look pretty. So I'm gonna now work on this uh, border here. And you know what I did? I pulled up some celery stalks that I had there and I think I'm gonna add these over here as well. Look at my cabbage. Doing fantastic. And also my Jamaican pepper finally starting to flower. So we might have some little pretty peppers coming there as well. So let me get started or finished <laughs> or continue. All right, so I am almost finished with the process. I am very close to complete, but this is what it looks like so far. So we're starting from this corner, moving around by the peppers, the pepper tree, and we have our cabbage. Aside from that, we have another chrysanthemum and plant in here. And then, you know, I just love this corner here. This is just so beautiful to me. And so as we go down here, we're going to stop in and here are the chrysanthemums. Now that plant there is a dahlia. Hopefully it will bloom before the season is out. And I plant the little babies here. Remember that those coleus are not going to be there forever, but these will continue, the chrysanthemums. I have not mulched them in yet, but I am going to do that next. But I just wanted to show you where I am right now in the process. And here, it probably took me about 20 minutes to get it all done, I would say. But look at the transformation. And I added two little ones there. So when we enter out or come into this area, it's going to be full of color and life. And um, so this is just really a nice situation. So let me get the mulch and we will finish up on the job well here is the finished product and i think it came out really fantastic that's so nice i am so pleased with this finish so let me stop let me give you a tour <laughs> Okay, let's study. So I am finished and I'm just gonna give you, let me give you a real quick tour of this process. 
I think it came out really good just starting from this corner here. I love how this turned out. And the mulch just adds such a great finish to the whole thing. It is just so pretty. When the marigolds decide to finally open up and give some more color, it will add additional oomph to this corner. But so far, I'm so pleased with this chrysanthemum. And I'm glad that I put it in this pot. By the way, I got this pot from my Aunt Tanti. She passed away, and one of the things that I took and I wanted was this pot because it just reminded me of her and every time I look at it I remember my Aunt Tanti. Now the pepper plant is doing well and it's starting to uh, produce uh, flowers and so I'm happy about that but look at this. This corner now looks really good too. And I'm glad I added the chrysanthemums from the, from the deck and placed them here. And as we pan, the mulch is just such a great finishing uh, accent to the garden. There's something about a well-mulched garden. It's like the dressing. And my dahlias now are just performing, just looking so spectacular with the complimentary mums. I moved my lemon tree and put it underneath uh, this tree here. Um, soon it'll have to come inside but um, I think it just adds height and we have the, the layered look, we have the tree, then we have uh, the lemon tree, which is another level, then we have the dahlias, and the lower level, which is now the chrysanthemums. And then here to accent the coleus, the yellow and the cream color looks so good. And I love my little path here. This bed came out very nice. And I love the different types of plants. So if you look at it like this. Just beautiful. this little path with the mint coming out So as you enter the garden from back here, from the driveway, and you come down, it just looks so pretty.
so this is what it looks like from above kind of aerial view well I am going to stop here thank you so much for joining me in Catherine's garden and if you like this video then like share and subscribe comment down below what are you doing for fall and um, I hope that this has been helpful to you and I'm encouraging you to go on out there and don't quit gardening keep it up enjoy it because it's only for time have a good day bye and see you next time in Catherine's garden